The last pattern which we are going to look at, a mediator defines simplified communication between classes. Let's take the example of an air traffic controller. At any point in time, let's say in India, we have about 500 flights flying. Let's say we want to decide the routes each of these flights have to take. We have to decide also when they have to land, which route they have to take, when they have to start flying and all that kind of decisions. If all the 500 flights have to talk to each other and make these decisions, then you know how complex it might be. It gets very complex. That's why we have somebody called an air traffic controller. So the flights talk to the air traffic controller and based on all the information it gets from all the flights, the air traffic controller can take a decision as to which route a flight can take, when it can land, what time it can start flying and all that kind of stuff. So all the logic is now with the air traffic controller and it kind of becomes the centralized thing which decides everything. And it also simplifies the communication between flights because they don't really need to talk to each other. They just need to talk to the air traffic controller and they can get details about all the other flights. So that's basically the air traffic controller. Uh, a good example of a mediator pattern in typical enterprise applications is the ESB bus. So we use something called an enterprise service bus. Instead of, instead of letting the applications talk to each other, you would have an enterprise service bus where a application, all that it does is it puts a message in the ESB and somebody handles it and gives it a response back. It does not really need to care about who is handling it and how it's getting the response back. It's a good example of the mediator pattern. So that's uh, all the design patterns that we wanted to discuss during this course. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.